hey guys welcome back for another video i don't have my makeup fully done because i am going to be doing kind of like a get ready with me in just a second talking about like some improvements that i'm doing to my hair but in this video i wanted to share with you guys some things in a haul report that i absolutely love and i So in today's video, I did want to share some natural hair products. My hair is completely dry under here. And at the end of the video, I wanted to share with you guys how my hair looks on first day hair using one of these products. But I wanted to come and do a haul report with some of the products that I have hauled in previous videos. I will leave a link over here in the iCards of those hauls that I have. And so you can kind of check out um, my first initial thoughts or the items that I've hauled it may not be everything in that haul but I definitely want to reference if you guys want to check it out but in this video I'm going to be doing more of like a overall review but these will be like come together so it kind of it's mini reviews really um, I do plan on doing specific reviews just so you guys can see but this is specifically a haul report so let's get into it so before we get into the video let me just tell you guys what kind of hair i have as well as what this video would be great for if you have this type of hair i tend to go more towards characteristics of hair rather than a hair type so any one three c four a four b that is like my hair type my curl pattern but i love going by characteristics more so if you're high porosity low porosity medium porosity if you're not quite sure if you what kind of porosity you have if you have fine or thin hair if you have um, relaxed hair these are the type of products that probably more than likely are going to work for you just because my hair is very porous and relaxed hair tends to be like that as well I have had relaxed hair before but I have also found that the relaxed girls that watch my channel tend to like the same type of products so I just wanted to say that now getting into what type of hair I have I have high porosity medium density that means that my hair is not extremely thick I actually have fine thin strands but I have a lot of strands which makes my hair look a little bit fuller than um, someone who has a low density medium density just means that the spaces in between the strands are close together and if you have high or if you have if you have high density hair that means that they are very close close together mine are a little bit space and then low would be even further apart so that's just what it means when it comes to density so i'm going to start leaving those type of things down in the description box i do have like a little caption about my hair type just or my hair characteristics just so you guys know and my hair type i have those things in there as well just wanted to say that so I've already done the co-wash. I bought a co-wash and this mask from Curl Mart and you guys can check it out. And this is, it's a Manuka Honey and Bergamot double, double Cream Moisture Mask with Panthenol and Castor Oil. What really made me want to try this was the Castor Oil. It is natural processed, color treated or heat style hair. That's what type of hair can use it so basically anyone can use this type of deep conditioner i did enjoy this and i don't think that it didn't wow me but it was a nice conditioner especially for the price that it it is i th believe this one is under ten dollars i thought that if this was reasonably priced i think it's a type of conditioner if you're purchasing something online and you want to try it out um it was nice but as you can tell let me tell you something about deep conditioners and me okay if I cannot keep if I can't keep picking this up then it's okay and I maybe use this maybe about three I'm gonna continue to use this but I maybe use this about three times two three times and for me to not pick it up as much it was okay it did what it was supposed to do um, it's very it's emollient but it did not impress me the slip is good let me show you guys the consistency it is a bit thick um, it's 
it is slippery but let me tell you something i mean it did the job okay so for the price that it is i think it's worth the buy would i repurchase it just because i know deep conditions that are better probably not i will be ranking my deep conditioners by the way you guys and that will be coming very very soon but i did enjoy this i feel like it is worth the price um i would give it out of five stars i would give it a three just because it did not wow me it did what it needed to do so it was average so i would say uh, let's give it an average grade three out of five stars i think that this was great the slip is good it had nice ingredients and it smells good so it did the job it smells good out there's no cons about it it's just okay it did the job let's go to the myo organics this is their hydrating conditioner i love that this is protein free I, I like that they made that aware and it has magongo oil in it and it's an intense hydration protein free conditioner for vers versatile hair styling this i believe would be great for low porosity just because a lot of low porosity gals have that issue as well as high porosity but low porosity with protein being in the deep conditioners this would be ideal for someone who has issues with protein so i love that they labeled that i think that that was very very genius this is an amazing deep conditioner i loved it so so much i even used it last night well, i know a good deep conditioner when the slip is amazing i tend to like mine to have some movement if it's too thick my hair kind of has an issue with it just because I try to cut down hair manipulation with using a good deep condition that has slip. That's why this one does remind me of the high porosity. And I would have to use the high porosity again, but it is giving me those high porosity, the Shea Moisture high porosity. Y'all know I love that. It gives me that kind of vibes. However, this one is protein free. I think that this would be great if you have issues with tangle tangles. I think this would be great again if you have problems with protein. It is intense hydration. I used this last night and it is so good. I feel like that the slip is good. As you can tell, it's a different consistency. Um, it's like a very like lotion. Okay. If it's a lotion consistency, most of the time I don't have a problem with slip. It's heavy in oils, which most conditioners are, but this one was an intense hydration. So I would put it up there in the top. I would say I need to do a top five again. Okay, because this really had me thinking. And Mayel did an amazing job. Their Baba Su is also really, really good. That deep conditioner smells so good. I love that these have different scents. This one does have a minty scent. Not a minty scent. The Bergamot has um, a minty scent. This one has more of a fresh floral. But it does not linger in the hair either. But I love this. And was this pricey? I would definitely repurchase this this one is like off the bat this is how i like deep conditioners to do to my hair where it's memorable i'm like girl when i run out of this this is coming right back into my into stock this is one that i would not want to leave out of the arsenal and i love again that this is hydrating protein free so thumbs up five stars for my L. And I had no negatives about this. Um, the only thing is I wish it came in a pump. Just because constantly scooping it out. And yeah. I mean that's the only thing about it. And I wish it came in a larger size. It, it's only in 8 ounces. I'm not complaining about the 8 ounces. But a good deep conditioner like this. I need 16 ounces. I would love a 32 ounce. So liters please. Okay, so this haul report is all about positives. We have one average. We have one five star. So we have three stars, five stars to the Mayo. And I'm going to give five stars to these. I absolutely love this. This was in a recent haul that I did. And this is from the brand Beautiful Curls. I got two. This is actually two styling products. One is the defining gel. And this one is the activating cream. Now let me tell you something about these. I love that these, first of all, are cruelty free and vegan. Beautiful Curls you can find at Whole Foods. I found these at Marshalls for $3.99 each. And I picked them up because they were glycerin free. Let me tell y'all. 
If you have fine thin hair, either one of these would work for you. But I'm going to tell you, if you have fine thin hair, Beautiful Curls Defining Gel, you are going to love because it is a very loose. I'm going to show you guys. It's very, very loose. Okay. It's a very snotty type of gel which our hair tends to love if you have fine thin hair it's very lightweight it had i would say a medium hold it's not really strong you're not going to get crunchy hair with this i really did enjoy this let me just call out some of the ingredients i love that it's not a lot the first one is a chamomile extract who has chamomile extract as the first ingredient that's crazy yarrow agave nectar aloe vera juice shea butter xanthan gum panthenol apricot extract um lang lang and it looks like a exorbic acid and it looks like potassium sorbitate and also um this looks like a what is that a preservative okay i think but I love the fact that this also gives back to um, it's it gives back to a charity. It looks like bicycle bicycles for education. This is amazing. I really do like this. And it's also a recyclable product. So I, when I say re, a recyclable container, that's what I love. So it has no mineral oil. It's gluten free, handcrafted, vegan, no animal testing and paraben free. This is like what gel dreams are made of. I really did enjoy this. Am I going to repurchase this? Most definitely. I love this. This would be in my arsenal. And it's one that I can use year round. This is definitely a gem I found at Marshalls. So let's talk about the Beautiful Curls. Let's talk about the Beautiful Curls Activating Cream. This one was a little bit more creamy. Let me show you guys this one. Again, this is cruelty-free, vegan. And this one is reforestation i love that this has like when you purchase this it goes to a charity okay so the brand or i guess the yes the brand is alafia beautiful curls but alafia i guess is the like parent company works with rural farmers to plant 10,000 trees each year this prevents soil erosion and helps negate the unpredictable effects of climate change material care project bicycles for education school supplies project they're showing like all of this oh my goodness like if you want a product that's going to give back beautiful curls is one that you're going to want to go for i really really enjoy this as well like i said this one is more of a creamy product but i'm gonna show you this is the product that i have in my hair it is moisturizing and has hold now it's not gonna have like hold like kinky curly not today which is going to give you crunchy long lasting curls this is going to give you nice curls it says beautiful curls it really does give you nice curls and i'll show you guys that but i love the fact that the this just has so many great ingredients you guys it has look it has i don't know comfrey extract it has Arnesia, I don't know what that is, but the, it's a lot of extracts. It has shea butter, it has agave nectar, aloe vera leaf juice. It has emulsifying wax, xanthan gum, steric acid, cetaryl alcohol, BTMS. Um, oh my goodness, raspberry extract. Like so many, lang lang, so many great ingredients. And it does have a nice scent. I really did like love this. And it says this one is for the thick to curly hair. This one is for, it says wavy to curly hair. So if you have more like on the curly to kinky side, this is the product that you're going to want. It's creamier. It's going to give you more moisture, moisturization and hydration. So to me, this, although it says activating cream, I would say this is like a creamy gel okay and the, like a creamy gel and this one is like a very loose gel which is very lightweight so let me show you guys the results so those get five stars i wanted to show you the results of my hair this is um in my aqua's hair turban when i woke up this morning my hair was like about 90 percent dry and so this is how my hair looks let me get my mirror out let me i'm just gonna pull a mirror out
this is how my curls are looking you guys when I say I'll leave what I have in my hair down in the description box um, I did use a product that uh, I did find it on the website be mine these does anybody remember be mine I used it as my leave-in but this gel it does have a good hold and um, I just love how my hair has been looking using these products okay you guys I think coming back with haul reports let me know if this is something that you love for me to do I really like doing these just because there are many like reviews and I can give you a clump of something I might come with a haul report of products that I didn't like products that were like okay do you like the mix let me know comment down below let me know what you guys want to see in terms of the haul reports this is something definitely that I want to keep on the channel just because I feel like you know I'm one of those girls I'm like give it to me quick let me know what is going on what's the deal I really do enjoy that but I want to see if you like the mix of like okay you know just random do you want like a haul report with a haul report with you know products that I didn't like just so you just have them all clumped together and um yeah let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you found it helpful comment down below and let me know thanks so much for watching you guys I'll see you in the next one bye guys